one of these days, I shall stop you. <laughs> hey guys, Masane all here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minish Cap. Sorry, Beetle, I didn't mean to slice up your bottles or anything. It's an accident, I swear. <laughs> In the last episode, we got ready for our journey to the Caster Wilds. And in this episode, we're actually going to be heading out that way after a couple of things that I wanted to hit first. Yes, I know we've been doing a lot of preparation lately, but trust me, it's it's pretty much worth it. Well, A, I don't want to spend, I don't want to like go over my rupee limit, so we're going to be spending a little bit of rupees. Won't take long, I swear, but this is important. This is the fusion from Link's grandfather. We got an empty bottle! Use it to soar, soar, uh, store, <laughs> use it to soar all sorts of things. No, use it to store all sorts of things. So we have two bottles now, which is pretty awesome. So you definitely want to go and do that grandfather fusion ASAP. It's very, very helpful. And since we have a second bottle, I think I'm going to pick up a second batch of Picolite from Beetle. Just because we can, and it's pretty awesome. So white picolite is the one that gives us the kinstone, so I'm gonna buy it for 200... I can only carry one?! Really?! For reals? That sucks! That sucks! I mean, I guess I could get that, but... I don't need mysterious shells, I'm gonna hit the cap anyway! Alright, well, um, I guess... I guess we can buy... This kinstone! Kinstone costs 300 rupees! And I, I guess this one costs some... Well, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm gonna stay at the inn. Uh, wow, it doesn't actually respawn. Okay. Cool, it's just kinda gone now. <laughs> I suppose I was, I'll just stay at the inn for this time because this is 100 rupees more expensive, so I wanna see what it entails if we get a chance at a second one or something. Uh, all payment on fr up front, please. Thanks, enjoy your stay. Here we go. He's snoozing, snoozing in this bed. And <laughs> Ezlo looks like he's dead. He just looked like he was completely zonked out. That's pretty hilarious. So now we have full hearts, which I'm very happy about. And one kinstone piece. So we only get one. So if you're only after the kinstone piece, the Goro Man is the better way to go. But I suppose you can only buy one of the red ones. So that's that says something. But that's not really the best course of action when it comes to collecting kinstones. I'll show you guys in a minute, but we're going to be heading out to Truby Highlands to head out to Caster Wilds. Die. Thank you for the rupees. Hopefully I won't run out of space for rupees throughout this, this endeavor of ours. No. 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 Bad fox. Bad fox. Stupid fox. Okay, uh, now... Oh, there, there's this guy. This guy. Come on, come down here. I don't wanna slice up this grass. Okay, yes! There we go. Now, you can probably already guess what I'm about to do, right? We have the white picolite that we have not used yet. Granted, there is a better technique that you can use, but we don't have yet. But just watch this. Watch how many kinstones we get from this. It's so many! It only lasts about 30 seconds, so you want to get as much as you can out of it. But if you are low on kinstones or missing them in any capacity, this is the way to grind them up. Check out the amount of kinstones we're getting from this. It's pretty amazing. And we're getting all sorts of colors from it. We're getting all three colors. Oh, it already wore off. That's dead. So we, we get blue, green, and the red kinstones, which, keep in mind, the red kinstones are like 400 or 300 a pop, depending on where you get it from. So it's definitely worthwhile if you have money to burn. Let's take a look at our um, kinstone bag now. Look at that gorgeousness. That is such gorgeousness. We're, we are okay. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine continuing on. Okay, so, well, we're done with that now. I don't have any more Picolite to use. I guess I can get more later. 
Maybe I'll have the technique button that we can use to get even more. Uh, do we have any... No! It sounded like I was answering my own question. Uh, do we have any... Kinstone things here? Okay, there's that one, but we already did that. That was from Percy. Uh, there's that, but we can't do that yet. Okay, I guess I guess we're in the clear. We are a-okay. Uh, maybe I should have my boots. Here we go. Yeah! And here we are at the entrance to the Chester Wilds. Get out of my way. Please get out of my way. I want to kill it. Die. 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 Aha! No kinstone. That's sad. Okay, well, heading up from here, we're gonna find a new pathway to the Caster Wilds, and it's quite the interesting area. So this must be Caster Wilds, a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire, but we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so in we go! Come on, Missy, into the muck with us! Oh, muck, all right. Oh, boy, muck. Uh, actually, we haven't talked to Ezel in a while. I kind of wonder what he says or if he has anything to say here. When you're crossing a swamp, you want to be as swift as the wind. There's no point in stopping to look around. Sightseeing is right out. What I'm trying to say is that I don't much relish the thought of a mud bath. He would definitely have to go through the laundromat after that. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow! Spoilers! Spoilers! We haven't actually even seen that yet. Man. Okay, so... Just as he said, we need to run like the wind to travel across the muck. Otherwise, we will quickly drown because we can't move fast enough. Honestly, this this place reminds me a little bit of of a place in um in Earthbound. There there was a place that was fairly similar, wasn't there? I'm pretty sure. Anyway, heading in here, we have bombs. Ha 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 ha! I have too many bombs for you. Come down here and kill you. I guess I can just speed right through. No use taking them all out. Uh, here's a chest, but it's gone! Hmm, so a guardian is protecting the treasure? Take care while fighting it. Oh boy, okay, this is this is a dark nut, and dark nuts are pretty mean. I actually don't know what the best way to fight him is. I, I, I know shields are effective, but does this do anything? No, it doesn't! Okay! Shields are definitely the way to go. Okay, so that way you get stunned for a little bit. Uh, I guess you could theoretically just avoid him as well. But shields make it a little bit easier. There we go. Oh, crap! Wow, for such a big enemy, he doesn't really do all that much damage. Okay, there we go! And done! He dropped the kinstone piece! There's the kinstone piece that I wanted from that one enemy before. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, uh, we got another kinstone piece from this fight, but this time it's gold! These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Ah. So, like I said, it's now a new piece of kinstone. A new piece of kinstone, yes! That's how I'm referring to it as. The yellow ones are plot specific. They are required to continue. So this is our first instance of having something that we, having a kinstone piece that we actually completely 100% need to get. Which is kind of interesting. So now we're done in here. Can I eat a heart? No. Heart. Let me eat your heart, snake! Ah, yay, yummy! <laughs> Snake heart, the most valid of meals. Clearly, that was a good idea. Okay, so here we go. I, I guess, I guess we can climb up here. Honestly, this place is confusing to me. This place is very, very confusing to me. I don't know why. I think it's because there's two levels to it, and there's a bunch of places where you have to dash across. I always get lost. Um. Oh crap! Don't do that. Maybe go across this bridge, maybe? I don't know, I get super lost here, so I, I might I might be guessing my way around a little bit. Uh, we can't go that way. See what I mean? It's just, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting layout for an area. Um, I, di I didn't much care for this place when I first played through it, but I think I can appreciate it a little bit more now. Uh, just, just, just as... It usually is with me. I get frustrated when I get lost at places. 
Now that is one nasty looking statue. That eye has such an evil glower to it. Yeah, that that's That's the thing that you spoiled me on, Ezlo. Thanks. Uh in here. Oh, hello there. Come on. Yeah. What do you have to sell? I want to sell you arrows, but you don't have a bow. Come back later. Gee, I wonder what we're getting in this area. Uh, he does have a kinstone fusion for us. Good thing we got a bunch from the from the thing earlier. So, oh, that's back in Minish Woods. We passed by that several times. Okay. Look at that, a perfect fit. That means good luck for us. Uh, what's in there? Oh, something important. Okay. So I have to make it across there somehow. Uh, is there a particular way to get over there that doesn't involve me being lost? No? Okay. This is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna be rolling and rolling around in circles because this place is just really freaking confusing. Okay, that's where we went before. That's a that's a shrink a dink down. Um, is this where we came from? I need I need my Pegasus boots. This is okay. This is where we came from, right? Yeah, this is the start. So we go across, go down, go this way. Let's see. I guess we climb up there and go this way? I think? Okay. This is... This is where we started. We can't go through that way. Wow, I can uproot those things. Okay. That works. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Can I? No, I can't. Wait. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. I'm back on. I'm back on the right track. Here we go. This is where I wanted to go. Okay. I think I was here in the first place. Uh. Please don't drown me. Please don't drown me. Here we go. Yes. Holy moly. This was kind of. This was kind of confusing. Okay. So we can shrink it down. And head through this thing. Got another one of these lily pads. Wasn't expecting to see this here, right? Uh, let's see. Gush jar. Push ourselves across. Oh, that's pretty! <gasps> that's really pretty! So is that one. I like these flowers. Okay, just keep on going. Keep on going. Proceed, and now we can head off to this side. Drop down this hole, and oh boy, oh boy, no, nope, I'm not dealing with this. I am not dealing with this. Calm down, calm down. I said, calm down, you stupid bugs. Okay, well this works. <laughs> Pin them up against the wall, and then they're easy enough to take out. Uh, open this up, and we get the bow! Now you can take out enemies from afar! This is so exciting. I love the bow in any Zelda game, really. So, here we go. Got ourselves a bow. And I want to shoot something before we end off this episode. Uh, shooting something is a requirement. No, stop going down the stupid hole. Okay, there we go. Now I just need to get myself back across. And find something to shoot. Okay, keep on going. There we go. Now we can unshrink it down because there's not really much that we can do in our current form. Uh, is there anything over there? There's a... Yeah, there's that, but we can't do anything with that right now, obviously. No, not the bow. As much as I'd love to use the bow right now. Okay, so now that we have the bow, guess what we can take out? Yeah! 
That activates it, and now we can shoot it. It takes three shots? Yes, three shots, and it explodes. Uh, you got five arrows. Store them in your quiver. Okay. Uh, up here, let's check out what's up here really quickly, and then we'll probably... Yeah, nothing, nothing. Wow, there's nothing up here. I mean, I guess there's a whirlwind, but I was expecting at least, like, a little something up here. Uh... Uh, uh, wait, wait, what's down here? Well, I can't find out now. <laughs> I don't think that's where we actually have to go anyway. There's something that's southeast of here that we can take care of, I believe. Man, this place is so confusing for me. I think it's because things go in diagonals and it kind of confuses me. Yes! Yes! Here we go. Here we go. We got this guy that we can take out. Nope. Two, three! And five more arrows. At least they're replenishing my arrows just as quickly as they're coming in. Anything? No. Ah! Here we go! Look at this! Open this up and we got a kinstone piece! Another golden one! pretty cool. And now that we have that, I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits here. Next time, we'll be taking on the second half of the Caster Wilds. Because this place is pretty big. We, we have gone through a good chunk of it, but there's still quite a bit that we haven't explored yet. I I'm pretty much satisfied that I actually got to this this half of this room. That's what I really wanted to do since we saw it. And I was like, I see it over there. I see it. I just need to get to it. <laughs> So, next time, we'll be heading out and making more use of our new bow. I will see you guys then. See you now, uh...